Hello everyone. Welcome back to our channel Software Dude. Today we are diving into the fascinating world of distributed systems, right? And we'll be talking about a concept called the gossip protocol. Uh, that is basically a distributed approach of information exchange, right? It's an important concept in system design used in multiple places. And we are going to look at how it works at a high level, right? Uh, so that when you are designing and when you are implementing these kind of uh, systems or these kind of networks or these kind of you know services, uh, gossip protocol is one of the most used uh, approaches because of its benefits, right? So let's jump straight in. So gossip protocol, what is gossip protocol, right? Gossip protocol is a method that allows nodes to share information in a decentralized and efficient manner, right? So there are some characteristics, um, like we mentioned, decentralized and efficient manner. So let's look at the characteristics that gossip protocol actually offers, right? First is decentralization. Basically in gossip protocol, uh, it the, the operation is in a decentralized manner, meaning there is no central authority you know, which is controlling the information flow, right? This makes the system more resilient to failures and is also makes it scalable, right? We are going to look at scalability. Next is fault tolerance, right? Since information is spread across multiple nodes, the system is more robust and fault tolerant. So if a node fails or goes offline, the information can still reach uh, other nodes through alternative paths, right? And uh, then is scalability. Obviously, gossip protocols are often scalable because of the communication load uh, is distributed among different nodes, right? And the system can handle a large, large number of nodes without a significant increase in complexity, right? So gossip protocol primarily is a mechanism to exchange information in a distributed environment, in a decentralized manner and in an efficient manner, right? So that even if a node goes down or even if uh, there are multiple nodes, uh, information is always there stored somewhere where it can be accessed and it can be read. Uh, so that the application or the service doesn't have any downtime, right? So that is how why gossip protocol is used. Now, how does it work? Let's say, and we are going to look at how we look at, at, at every architecture and system design. We are going to look at how it works through a diagrammatic approach, right? So let's say you have a network with three nodes, three servers, right? Server one, server two, server three, right? Server one, let's say, has two uh, data, which is one and two server two has again uh, two data points which is two and three and server three has again two data points one and three right so server one doesn't have the information three server two doesn't have the information one and server three doesn't have the information two right how will this work obviously we want every node to have all kinds of information right that is what will make it resilient and robust right what happens is every node figures out which node to share information with, right? So say for example, server 2 assigns uh, server 1 as the, as the node to share information with and server 1 also does the same, right? Then server 1 also, also figures out, so say for example, if you go to server 3 and server 3 also exchanges the information with server 1 and server 1 again exchanges the information with server 3, right? And then server 2 and server 3 also do the same thing. They both also exchange the information, right? So basically what it is happening, server 2 is exchanging the information 2 and 3 with server 1. Server 1 is doing the same with server 2, right? So it is exchanging 1 and 2 with server 2. Same with server 1 and server 3, same between server 2 and server 3. So basically each server is fanning out the information that it is storing to the other two nodes, right? To all the other nodes in the in the network, right? And what will be the outcome of this uh, this mechanism? This is what will happen, right? Each server will now hold every piece of information that is there in the entire network, in the entire distributed service, right? So basically, server one now has one, two, three, all of them. It did not have three. It got the three from server two and server three, right? Server two did not have one. So it received it from server one and server three. And server three did not have uh, two, so it got it from server one and server two, right? So basically the information is being shared with all the other nodes at every point in time, 
right so at any point in time if any of the server goes down the other two servers even if both of them go, uh, uh, both two servers go down the third server always has the updated information right so that is how gossip protocol works basically a information exchange in a distributed manner right with a continuous uh, process of exchanging information by figuring out peers so let's look at the steps that it involves the first step is node initialization right obviously the each node starts with some initial state or some information like we saw server 1 had only 1 and 2 server 2 had only 2 and 3 right so first step is the node initialization second step is the selection of peers right in each round a node randomly selects a peer from its list of all other peers right so for example in this case server 2 chose server 1 right server 1 chose server 3 right so they select peers and when it happens at a round robin or at a regular fashion then each node ends up selecting all other nodes as their peers and that is a continuous repeatable process right then obviously is the information exchange the selected nodes exchange the information uh, the information that could be data uh, status updates or any any kind of relevant information right then propagation right propagation means the nodes incorporate the the information that they receive and then select new random peers and repeats the process right so that is what the propagation process is and then obviously repetition this entire process repeats spreading the information until entire uh, uh, network all the servers and all the nodes in the network have the updated information right have the latest information right so these are the steps for uh, uh, gossip protocol how do you achieve you basically initialize the node the node then selects the peers exchanges the information both way so both the nodes uh, informs the uh, uh, exchanges the information between them uh, Propagation, which basically the nodes incorporate the received information and then select new random nodes, right? It uh, continuously then continues to repeat the process until the entire uh, coverage is uh, achieved, right? All peers in, uh, in the entire network have the updated information, right? So that is gossip protocol. Now, where is gossip protocol used? Gossip protocol is obviously used in a variety of applications, but at a high level, if we look at all the applications where it is used, Obviously, one of the first applications that you can think of is peer-to-peer -peer networks, right? Any kind of peer-to-peer -peer network where you have information exchange from a client to a server or say uh, between one node to another node, uh, any kind of those kind of applications, uh, gossip protocol is very important, right? Because of the decentralization that it offers, the scalability that it offers, it also actually offers adaptability, right? I, I forgot to mention that, I should have mentioned that because if you now you consider if you add another node in the system the process of repetition and propagation will continue where the fourth node or the fifth node or the sixth server right they will all get selected as a peer right in every round so every node and every server in the network actually ends up having the latest information right so it is also very adaptable to not only scaling up if there are nodes that are added but also if there's nodes that are removed right if there is a downtime or if one of the nodes go down so it's very adaptable to scale out scale in right uh, so peer-to-peer -peer networks definitely where there is a point-to-point -point communication distributed databases uh, actually any kind of distributed applications but distributed databases uh, i've mentioned here because of the reason where databases are where data is stored structured data is stored one of the main places in our entire technology stack is a database where data or information is is stored and gathered right uh, so any kind of distributed databases in today's world it's not just a database or a node that is stored in a on-premise server right today databases have fault tolerance inbuilt inside them and they have uh, uh, availability across striped across multiple clusters in different locations right so that at any point of time your data is not lost right it can be recoverable it can be pulled through now, how does that work? Obviously, there are master slave uh, architectures and other architectures, but the way to maintain this information across multiple nodes of a distributed database or say multiple storage servers of a distributed database is the algorithm behind that is the gossip protocol, right? So that is how it works. And then there are blockchain networks. Actually, any kind of networks, blockchain obviously is because of the way it, it connects all the nodes right and the information is exchanged which is why it is a very good 
application where gossip protocol can be uh, not only can be used but is actually used right so blockchain networks so uh, that was gossip protocol a uh, short and sweet concept and it is a very important concept in terms of system design hopefully you liked it thanks for watching